Welcome back to the Sonic Adventure Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to take on Amy's gameplay today. We're going to be playing Amy Rose. And don't worry, this isn't going to be long because she's only got the least amount of stages and some of them are short. Well, one of them is long. Yeah, we start off at Station Square. Oh boy. Oh god damn it. Why did I have to listen to this song? I'm bored. Then entertain yourself. The same old thing. Same place, different day. I miss the good old days. Where you are with Sonic. Hero, Sonic. I bet Sonic will freak out. Oh yes, this is a reference from Sonic CD. Sonic rescued Amy from Metal Sonic. But now he's gone, and there's nothing left to do. Oh, there's Twinkle Park, there's Memorial Shots Coast, Casinopolis, there's go to, to the Mystic Sonic Ruins, around. and of really course go for Speed him. Highway. Hey, what's going on? Why is here? it darker? Is there an eclipse today or what? Nobody forecast a storm or anything. But guess what? She drops her shopping because she realized one thing. Yep, the egg carrier. And everybody started to fear about that. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. It's always Eggman who does this kind of thing. Jeez, I wonder if there's an anti-terrorist patrol coming. Eggman, can it be? What's that? And dramatic music ensues again. I Bonk! Watch it! <laughs> Ow! You should watch where you're going, buddy! Wait, he's hey, injured! Are you alright? You look kind of Poor hurt. Birdie! But guess who arrives? Another one of Eggman's robots! And it's Zero! Get out of the way, Amy! Uh -oh. What? The hell? Yikes! You almost ran me over, creep! Oh no! You can Let's say that to literally every one of Eggman's robots. Wait a minute. Zero doesn't come into the burger shop? He obviously saw Amy come going into the burger shop. And he didn't even notice. Robots, huh? <laughs> he must have captured you, and somehow you got away, right? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Coming from a pink hedgehog who is to who do wants to go to for independence, but then again I'll she gets kidnapped by Zero. Yeah. So this is Amy's gameplay. Unlike Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Amy is pretty much one of the slowest characters in the in the game. Her gameplay is just absolutely clunky. She has a hammer to, to attack, but sometimes that can be a little delayed when trying to time the swings in order to stop. In order to... In order to uh, what the hell? Am I stuck? Ugh, sweet glitches. Yes, I know the, gl the, the glitches added in Sonic Adventure, but that was part of the porting process. We're trying to fix the bugs, but I did it more. Amy is extremely slow, her hammer attacks are delayed, and of course, they can be a bit clunky at times. And oh, wait! There's Sonic! Oh, Sonic! What? <sighs> My hero! Why are you looking at me for? That is just disturbing! <laughs> wait, Sonic! He's got a free. Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, Sonic What's freaks out. <laughs> see, this little birdie's got in trouble. With Doctor Eggman, obviously. Guard a little while. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll just tag along. What the hell? No way. Sonic's got more important things to do. She, he, he runs away. Run away. Oh. oh no! Amy must catch up with him before he runs off. No trains are currently in service. 
Uh, bloody strikes. Well, well, it, looks, it looks like this equivalent, this, uh, this game's equivalent of National Rail. The workers are on strike because of pay and condition, I believe. Kind of like every put worker in this country going through at the moment. Wait up, uh. Sonic! Not fair! I can't What's not fair? But then, dun dun dun! It's zero again. I'll handle that bag of bulls. <laughs> what? Now what's wrong? Another reaction from her. <laughs> Goodness gracious me! The acting is just WTF at times. Even though the voice acting is. Not, it's actually good for the first try, but to be very honest, some of the acting can be a little uh, OTT at times. They can go over dramatic, and the lip syncing is just, although off, and there, and of course, some of the animations is just, ugh, especially the mouth movements being so, like, you know, so funny to boot. I just kind of think it's just hilarious at the wrong, for the, all the wrong reasons. But anyway, we get Amy's gameplay. Amy, what Amy needs to do is, what Amy does is pretty much, Amy just runs away from uh, Zero, who is of course, who is of course trying to capture Amy because she has the bird, because the bird for some reason has, I think has a Chaos Emerald. Wait a minute, speed shoes for Amy? But, she, but that doesn't make her any faster. Uh, here we go. <laughs> then here we get. Here we go. We're inside there. And at times there are certain. There are, at times there can be some uh, inconsistencies with uh, Amy's gameplay, especially how she moves. And having to run away constantly from uh, the robot can get a little stale at times. Uh, mostly because you have, because that's the only time you have to go through. At least with Sonic the Head, at least with Sonic and Tails, you have different objectives. But here, it's the same thing. Even though Knuckles had the same objective to get all the Master Emerald pieces, at least they were, at least he had different, at least he had more, at least he was fast enough and his levels were boxed in as re and uh, quite small, so he could find the Emerald pieces faster. This gameplay just feels too sluggish, and the pace is just too slow. Uh, Amy doesn't even bother picking up the pace. Uh, she does get better in Sonic Adventure 2's multiplayer mode, and in Sonic Heroes, she's much more faster. But honestly though, Amy's gameplay is just bad. I think it's worse in Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, she moves incredibly slow. I think she, I think she is as slow as Knuckles, and her hammer attack is incredibly delayed, and she can turn invisible as well. That's just a pointless technique. Oh dear. Oh, and we're back outside again, and we have to go off to stop uh, Zero from capturing us. Although I will say this right now, the pleasure, this is the pleasure cast. The pleasure cast of music makes it a lot less, you know, painful to go through. And going up these slopes is just awkward as well. But at the end of each stage, there's a balloon you have to go on to in order to complete the level. And this is how we complete levels of Amy's gameplay. Yes, then, there's only three of them, so it won't take long and the pain will be over as soon as possible. And it wouldn't... It's... It won't be... Uh, it, oh, I think Amy's gameplay is less than two parts of this LP. It's totally two parts well, of this LP. So at least it spares me the pain of having to play this, uh, play this headshot, play this um, utterly, this utterly, this uh, headshot, this love crazed hedgehog who's trying to marry Sonic so that she can uh, not get him Ooh, out of her clasp or too much. Oh, yeah, finally. Sonic must have gotten lost too. Oh dear. But wait a minute. The sh there's the shadow, but it looks as though it uh oh. Oh snap! 
And she he captures her anyway, so what is the point? Hey, watch it, Bolt Brain! Let us do <laughs> Bolt Brain! <Let's> go. <laughs> Ellie goes through central state the SS Central Station. Wait a minute! Why was that transition needed? And Sonic sees her! But he goes after her. But unfortunately, the scene transits right into the egg carrier. We don't get that cutscene where she is, of course, whisked away to, into the egg carrier by Dr. Eggman. Oh dear. Now, now, calm down. Oh dear. I think you have be I think I have better clarification than Sonic X because at least it does have a better telling of the backstory. Whether it's the Japanese or the English dialogue, I will say this right now. I think it tells I think the story is much better told in Sonic X's port in Sonic X's telling of this uh, story. Oh here comes the 123 Gamma. There it is, here we go. What do you want? Give me. I'll tell you this. Hand me the fucking bird. Nope. Did you hear what I just said? I said, head over the fucking bird, bitch. Why not? Why would you do it? Slag. You tell me why you want it now. Does. Not, not compute illogical systems malfunctioning. I know you might hurt us both. I want the bird now. I do not want to argue with you. you. Me, no, I will not. I have good. more information. Important things to do with my life. Something you know Exterminate! Exterminate! This whole thing is illogical! I pity you. Love is not Why pity me at all? You good. have been doing this to mess with my systems. Here. I do not want you, Amy. I just want the bird so I can satisfy Dr. Regman. I'm having a nervous breakdown. Go, escape. I will release you well, if what? you want to stop being captured by Dr. Eggman. But please, ignore Zero. He is an asshole who deserves more prison time. He deserves to be dropped by Dr. Eggman. He's an asshole. I'm better. My name, I'm the better one. Thy name is E102 Gamma. We will be landing very soon. You it's really your know. chance to you escape this robot. base. You've got a soft spot inside your metal frame. I know. We can be friends, okay? Just go. I will handle things from here. I will try and find my cousins. Ugh. Anyway, I'm sorry if I did that, I just could not resist. <laughs> anyway, we ain't got this minigame to do. Is that a fact, Robotnik? I highly doubt that. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the high score is 2,000 points. And we've got 20 seconds to get it. So ladies and gentlemen, the Sonics that give you 100 points, the Super Sonics give you like 500 points. But when you go bing, that means you got a Super Sonic to bash. Yeah. But to get hit, Dr. Eggman deducts 200 points, so don't ever hit him. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, damn it! I keep getting confused at times, at certain points. Oh, for God's sake, that wasn't enough. Game over. Game over. <laughs> Doctor, uh, this is kind of like a whack a mole game, doesn't it? 
Come on, Nick. Come on, Sonic. Get your super Sonic. Get your How the hell did that hit? Must be some of the collision detection being a bit, you know, uncooperative. Come on. Damn it! There we go. 500. Oh, damn it! They did it again! But anyway, I could beat it. So it doesn't matter. Eggman is mad. You mad, bro? <laughs> but anyway, we get the warrior feather, which allows us to do the hammer spin. And it's incredibly you pointless. The warrior feather. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. Okay, I um, think it's... I'm not going to do it again. But I'm going to show off what you could, what happens if you actually get 4,000 points. Right, anyway, with that being said, let's get off with the next stage, Hot Shelter. And it's an incredibly long stage. It's going to drain you alone. This is an incredibly draining stage. We get zero everywhere. And of course, we have to keep on doing, doing certain we have to uh, get to those handle pass, pass, passes. We have to open the doors all the time in order to get through. Hot, sh in my opinion, Hot Shelter is definitely the the only part of Hot Shelter I do actually like playing is in the Gamma's portion. Amy's portion is just a ugh. Amy's portion is a bit uh, blare at times, but uh, but Big's portion is just ah. Yet, yeah, speaking of which, we're gonna. Is, is Zero trying to drown us? Anyway, thanks for this boost, man. Come on. There we go. Penguins. <laughs> this must be the emergency drainage switch. There we go. Whee! It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. Right. Jump and one. We got one. We got. Let's do three and yes. It's one right, left. Says, one left, left one, one right, right three. three. So at least we've done it. And there are ladders. There's a ladder here which gives us straight to the ventilation shaft there. But there's another ventilation shaft. We had to pull, push the. Uh... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh. What the hell? I never, I did not see the spikes there. And this is where we have to uh, get the rings. We have to do it all to escape from X or zero again. Ugh. Come on, these jumps are awkward. Well, considering this, the escape, I did consider this is one of my least favorite. Out of that, the cat. I would wrap. If there's a character I'd rather play as Stamy, Gamma, or Big, I'd rather play as Gamma. At least Gamma's stages were fun. At least his story was emotionally telling. I do you even think about it. Where we go? We got extra life and invisibility. Wee hoo! I do actually like the invisibility song in this game. It's actually pretty good. It, get, it get, makes a return in Sonic 2, but it's a little faster paced than in Sonic Adventure 1. Checkpoint, here we come. I do love this song, it's quite jazzy. It's quite jazzy. It's quite, it's quite funky and jazzy. I do actually give props up to the, uh, the 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 composers for actually adding in a very very a huge variety of music in the uh, soundtrack. At least it isn't entirely made out of rock unlike Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 is filled with a brim of rock. Oh, this is a very da oh this is probably the, the the most dangerous part of the game in regarding Amy's gameplay. I can get through with Gamma no problem. But with AB, this actually requires me to take my time. And I had some of my deaths here thanks to the fact that the camera is not properly situated. The camera does not give me a proper view. 
It's annoying. Here is the oh, oh, it's a shield, so that's good. Move the handle, and the lift should move. Here we go. Up we go. There we go, and uh, oh yes. Yeah, so, uh, all right. So one thing is, if you use a, uh, if you use a, uh, if you use your hammer on a spring, you go higher. You go higher. I actually had that in Sonic in Sonic Advance games, where if Amy hits a spring with her hammer, she'll be able to uh, bounce higher. All right, so here comes a puzzle. Oh boy, I really like some of the puzzle gameplay elements in some certain Sonic games. I do actually like it better in the Werehog, but honestly, it's a bit. Sometimes some of the puzzles on that game can't be a bit, you know, challenging slash time-consuming, or a bit, you know, frustrating. Oh, but anyway, we do get kill, do get to zero. Anyway, he smashed through the screen. But although I will admit that it's kind of a cool thing. Oh, here comes the most illogical thing ever. She goes, she goes faster like in upstairs as well. I think she runs this. Yeah, right. We got another visibility. That's good. I think I've got. I think I got an extra. Yeah. Zero is beginning to absolutely irritate me. Come on! Right, here we go. Right, we've got the purple key. Oh, stop that! Oh, get away from me, you monster! Oh, piss off! And I'm directing it to the robot. If it's anybody's take offense, I'm directing that to the ro to zero, not to not to anybody else in particular. Some Amy fans are probably going to uh, hate me for my uh, humor earlier on, but honestly, I'm directing that to zero. Zero is an absolute asshole in this game. Whoa, whoa! I nearly fell off, but managed to absolutely save it. Well, I didn't see a zero anywhere, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Need to find a blue. There we go. We're ah, in... oh, finally. Oh, I thought this whole entire stage was gonna drag on forever. Ugh. You probably can tell I'm really starting to get bored of Amy's gameplay. You probably can tell by the tone of my voice I'm absolutely beginning to uh, get incredibly bored and. Side more sleep due to the sluggish pace Amy has. I didn't mind her. I didn't. I thought she was. She. I, I did. The only time I liked Amy was when she was in the Sonic Events, Sonic Advance Two and Three, and of course Sonic Sonic Heroes, where she was a badass. But in this game in Sonic 06, that was where I didn't really like a gameplay as place? much. Oh, worrying about going to the past, Amy. Oh dear. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part for when we're going to be finishing off Amy's story. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part of the Sonic Adventure playthrough.